kid here with the Plexter M6C 256GB PCI Express SSD drive. So a solid state drive in a PCI card. Now PCI Express 2.0 2X slot is much faster than a SATA 3. So you're going to get the Marvel controller, this dual core server quality grade uh, controller to perform really well and give you these speeds that you can see here. This is sequen sequential read and write that they... Um, say this drive can actually attain. So we're going to do some benchmarks in a second to check on that. They do stand behind their product, of course, with five years of warranty on this puppy. If you have a high-end machine that you're building, you really want the next generation high-speed components, this is it. You want a firmware that is solid, smooth, compatible, no drivers, plug and play, away you go. This gives you that. It gives you that. You don't really need much. Forget the manual. Just plug it in, install it in your PCI ex Express slot, format the drive once you boot up, and away you go. It's rock solid re reliability for sure on this one. I tested it, no problems. I have Windows 8 that I'm going to be putting this on to show you. It comes with a little screw there you can see to attach it, and it's a you know small form factor, single slot card, nothing out of the ordinary, simple, straightforward. As you can see, it's using um, Toshiba Toggle NAND Flash, by the way, in case you're uh, wondering about that. And um, custom uh, firmware that uh, Plexter's developed in-house, and they've tested, of course, uh, to give you that true speed technology that they guarantee on this one for uh, long-term sustained uh, performance. There are the indicators, okay, red, green, and yellow for power indication on the activity that's happening on the drive. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it for the card itself. When you look at it, it's the benchmarks, really, that we want to see here. On my Windows 8 machine, as you can see here, I've got this um, processor overclocked at 4.8 gigahertz. i got a special air cooler that I'm testing. It runs beautiful, stable on this Asus motherboard with 8 gigs of memory. So we're talking about a high-performing machine that I'm pushing to the max here. And, um, of course, plugging this drive is giving me crazy ultra fast speeds as you can see here on the sequential write and read from the auto disk benchmark it comes right where it's supposed to be so about 590 580 575 megs per second on the right so that's bang on to what they advertised and the read again is up there at 740 uh, plus megs per second so very close to what they advertised which was 770 Crystal Disk ben Benchmark, though, shows 770. You can see right there on the sequential, so bang on on those results as well. So no issues for me on there, and uh, really good results from those sequential read and writes. On the other hand, if we do some more testing on the ADA64 Disk Benchmark for the Read Test Suite, you can see they're almost a gig per second. That's crazy fast results. We're talking about booting up into Windows in seconds, and I'm talking about like 10 seconds or less maybe, depending on how fast your machine is. Here it is on a linear right, so straight linear line, about 570 megs per second on that one, which is pretty darn good as well. And uh, some disk copy benchmarks, so you can see you get an idea on how long it would take to copy a file of this size from a standard hard drive to the um, uh, M6E. Okay, so it gives you a good idea as well. I'll add the latest pricing below. This is for professionals, hardcore gamers, those who have high-end machines, you know, looking to really push the limits and get the most out of their uh, high-end components. Definitely recommend it. I'd like to thank Plexer for providing it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below and thank you for watching.